Good morning. Um, the Lord put it on my heart to um, do another little study this morning. And I wanted to um, touch on the, the Geneva Bible because the Geneva Bible is older and more accurate than the KJV. KJV is pretty accurate, um, but the Geneva um, is more so. It's, it's older. It was published um, before. I don't personally have a Geneva. Um, I want one if we're still here much longer, but um, so I pulled it up. <clears throat> Matthew seven twenty one through 23. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does my Father's will which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not by thy name prophesied, and by thy name cast out devils, and by thy name done many great works? And then will I profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. And I want to go into a study of iniquity. Iniquity is guilt, punishment. This is the Strong's Concordance um, Hebrew. Um, iniquities calling for the sword. Iniquity to be punished by judges. To stumble by iniquity. Causing shame, bringing to remembrance of forgiveness or removal of forgiveness. So, this, if you have his spirit, this should be clear that iniquity is, is law and works. It's holding on tightly to that which Jesus fulfilled by his sacrifice and resurrection. He fulfilled it because he knew we could not, the laws, the old laws. And he gave us new commands to follow in his ways, to love the Lord God with all of our hearts and to love our neighbors. And so this is Ezekiel thirty six thirty three. Um, oh, I don't have it in the Geneva. Hang on. Here we go. Um, so these up top are little like bullet notes or whatever he promises to deliver israel from the gentiles the benefits done unto the jews are to be ascribed to the mercy of god and not unto their deservings they do not we do not deserve we do not deserve to be forgiven we do not not deserve salvation but by coming to believe in our messiah jesus christ our lord the son of god who come in the flesh thereby believing on him and his sacrifice and that he came and he fulfilled it he fulfilled the law because he knew we would fall short we are given salvation as a gift which cannot be earned by our own works or following the old laws so god renews our hearts that we may walk in his commandments he renews our hearts that we may walk in his commandments God, Jesus, is God in the flesh, okay? God made himself come into the flesh. He was still God, but he come into the flesh, so he, they are one, okay? <clears throat> and Jesus said to walk in his commandments, which was to love the Lord God with all of your heart and to love your neighbors. <clears throat> So now I'll read. Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, You mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because the enemy has said against you, Aha, even the high places of the world are, are ours in possession. <clears throat> I just want to touch on something there. Because the enemy has said against you, we know who the accuser is. The accuser is the enemy. The accuser is is the devil, okay? <clears throat> so when we go around accusing, we are acting and serving the enemy. 
when we think that we're serving God. Thus says the Lord God, because the enemy has said against you, oh, I already read that. Therefore prophesy and say, thus says the Lord God, because that they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that you might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and you are come unto the lips and the tongues of the tongues of men and unto the reproach of the people. Therefore, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and the valleys, and to the waste and the desolate places, and to the cities that are forsaken, which are spoiled and had in derision of the residue of of the heathen that are round about. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, surely in the fire of my indignation, have I spoken against the residue, residue of the heathen and against all Edomia, which have taken my land for their possession with the joy of all their heart and with despiteful minds to cast it, cast it out for a prey. Prophesy therefore upon the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys, thus says the Lord God, behold, I have spoken in my indignation and in my wrath because you have suffered the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you shall bear their shame. Okay, so I'm skipping ahead because I'm trying to share what the Holy Spirit has shared with me and shown me. The gate is narrow. We, we know that the gate is narrow. So, he he is told to prophesy to who israel why israel because israel is still under works and law jesus fulfilled it because he knew we could not so israel is still rejecting not all of them but but israel is still rejecting jesus christ the messiah and that he came and fulfilled that which we cannot because we all fall short in this flesh, okay? So, be it known unto you that I do not, not this for your sakes, says the Lord God. Therefore, O you house of Israel, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, your own works and law-based faith, okay? Thus says the Lord God, what time as I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will cause you to dwell in the cities and the desolate places shall be built. So the day that he cleansed us from all of our iniquities was Jesus' sacrifice. But when you don't come to believe in Jesus, the Lord, in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah, then you are still keeping yourself under that curse of the law and works, well, if you believe at all. And so this is why i'm sharing this okay so back to matthew seven twenty one through 23 Dep i never knew you depart from me you that work iniquity if you are still under the law and works as israel then you don't know the messiah you don't know jesus christ the lord i hope that this is becoming more clear because I love and care about God's people and I want none to perish and he is trying to wake you up. That is why he is doing what he is doing to trigger those to reveal that they are still under the curse of law and works, okay? Um, iniquity is punishment, guilt, calling for the sword, causing shame, ransom for iniquity. Jesus paid the ransom Jesus bore the punishment that we deserve. Jesus bore our shame that we deserve. Jesus bore our guilt. It is finished. Jesus loved you so much, and he knew that you would never succeed following that which he fulfilled, the old laws and works. And so he paid the ultimate one-time sacrifice, one-time atonement, so that all who come to believe on him and to believe in his sacrifice and resurrection would be saved. I love you in Christ. I hope this blesses you. Um, I'm praying for you. God bless.